bring that cozy vibe into your home without spending much money at all. And you can do it in a way that doesn't make you feel like you are really scrimping. In this video, I'll show you um, some of the ways that I'm doing that this year. So when we decided to create a budget for what we anticipated would be, you know, and kind of work for us during our retirement years, my thinking quickly shifted back to those early years of being a single mom. And in some ways, I've kind of taken this on as a bit of a challenge, which doing this has really helped me in many ways, but it's helped me be more thoughtful about whether I truly need something, um, whether I need it right now, and then how much of it do I really need? More and more, I'm finding that it's the simple things that make me the happiest and give me the feeling that I have everything I need. Maybe, you know, it's the hot drink that I make for myself that day. That can be one of those times. And whether it's a tea that I've purchased in bulk or, you know, whether I've made myself some mulled wine or my favorite version of coffee or mocha for the day, which is what I'm making here. It's the extra little moments that it takes to make these that makes it feel, I don't know, a bit more special than just taking a bag out of a box and sticking it in your tea mug. And so I think I treat it that way when I'm drinking it as well. I love the taste of coffee, but these days I mostly drink Dandy Blend instead. It's made from dandelion roots and it tastes very much like coffee. And I almost always add in my collagen for the day and sometimes a little bit of cacao like I have here as well. Another drink that I have been really savoring this fall is rose vanilla apple cider. Folks, this is so good. The flavors of rose and vanilla and cider, oh, it's, it's, they're a perfect match. I got the recipe from this cookbook and I have to admit that I feel a little guilty in sharing this with you now, how good it is, <laughs> because I did check to see if she had it on her blog and I could just send you a link to the blog post, but she doesn't. So um, if you want to try this recipe, you'll have to get her cookbook to get it. But trust me, um, if you like cooking, uh, if you really enjoy cooking and you like eating delicious, healthy meals, you won't be disappointed um, by her plant-based cookbook here. I, I love it. When it comes to creating that cozy vibe inside your home, what I've come to realize is that it's really the simplicity of the things that I pick up on my walks or that I'm able to pick, you know, like flowers from my garden that are every bit as delightful and it costs little to next to nothing. I mean, a packet of marigold seeds is only a couple of dollars, but they can easily provide weeks of beautiful fall color inside your home. I also tend to heavily rely on candlelight in the evenings as the weather gets cooler. And this is a little project that I have been wanting to do for quite some time now. These coffee beans have been ones that I know Kurt won't use because they've been lingering in the refrigerator for quite some time now. So it's gonna be um, good to put them to a good use. And I've got some unscented candles here that I got on sale last year. But really when it comes to creating the seasonal feel that you want in your home and that you're, you know, you're still trying to stay within your budget to do this, I, I think you really need to challenge yourself about to think about what do I already have or what can I find in nature for free that can make your money go further. Another place that I am saving money now is in my gardens. I can remember there was a time when I longed to have a whole lot of plants and to have a whole bunch of flowers outside as well and I, I do have that now 
but now I'm being a lot more thoughtful about how I care for my plant family. For instance, last year I managed to save the seeds on my moonflower, which is a plant that I really love, and, and I love having it every year. Someone had given me one way back um, many, many, many years ago, and it had reseeded itself the next year, and so I knew it could grow from seed, and I always loved the flowers. But spending money on flowers back then, it, I mean, it was a real luxury. So when I things would come up the next year, I would like I would always just be like really excited about it. Um, but anyway, if you're not familiar with a moonflower, they're really awesome. They only bloom in the evenings, a big, white, beautiful bloom, and they have the most lovely scent too. I also have developed. Over time, I had developed some more wasteful habits during my corporate years with respect to my plants, too. When it came to um, putting things to rest in the fall, I just wasn't as careful about protecting things during those years. So, like, when the first frost came, a lot of times I would let things get hit by the frost, and I wasn't really good about putting my plants to bed properly before winter. So, I really lost a lot of them each year, and that could be really expensive because then I would just have to buy new ones in the spring if I wanted them again. And you know, if I go way back, I didn't have the money for that. So if you're a plant person, you probably also really recognize. Um, this year I was kind of astounded at how much the prices have gone up on potted plants. I mean, just like everything, prices have gone up, but on the plants, they really have too. So anyway, I'm making my budget um, work by saving and doing a better job of saving what I can, whether it's the plants themselves or whether it's the seeds. and really it tends to bring me a lot of joy when I'm able to nurture you know plants through the winter and have them again in a way I, I start to get a little bit attached to them I also really love making gifts this time of year for the holidays I mean talk about cozy vibes I mean it feels like it warms your heart doing this in so many ways while you're creating something for someone else in this way I mean you are thinking about the person that you care about and you're using your creativity to make something in a way that you know will bring them joy and this can just bring so much happiness and if you're careful in choosing projects and in gathering up your materials and supplies for it it can save you a lot of money as well so here is a gift that i received last year from my sister aren't these cute and I know that these have to be fairly inexpensive to make as well so I hope you've managed to get some good ideas for yourself from today's video and if you have enjoyed this and you'd like me to create some more videos that are similar to it please make sure you let me know in the comments and if you could give it a thumbs up too to help um, get it shared with more people that would be fantastic as well and I just wish you to have a most wonderful rest of your week see you next time